Hi everyone, long time no see ya. I know it's been five months since my last video. I know I wasn't abducted by aliens, so that would have been a great excuse. Honestly, I was just talking the blender render queue of life. Turns out rendering a 4K life updates take way longer than expected. But seriously, I've missed you all. These past few months have been a mix of busy projects. And me trying to figure out why my copy tests better when I'm procrastinating. But now, I'm back and I'm bringing the hit. Or at least a decently rendered architectural visualization. So thank you for sticking around. And for those who just subscribed, welcome to the chaos. Let's make some awesome content together and let's dive in today's video. Where I'm going to show you a very practical workflow for architectural visualization in Blender. Now, let's get into it. So, the first step is the modeling. But before starting in Blender, let me go back to AutoCAD and give you a little bit of, of context. This is a simple living room plan I drafted especially for this video. We don't need uh, something super detailed, just the, the walls, windows and doorway position, okay? And in the right proportion. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this as a AutoCAD D, DXF file, okay? And then we can jump back in Blender, okay? So I'm gonna select all and delete this. So here in Blender, as always, I'm going to delete this, okay? I'm going to File, Import, Import AutoCAD DXF, okay? But if you can see this option, just go to Edit Preferences under the Add-ons, type DXF and make sure these two are turned on, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and import the AutoCAD. The AutoCAD plan, okay? So this is our plan, guys, okay? So you can see that it came in three type of curves since there is several layers here i'm going to select all of them tap m to move into a new collection and i'm going to name this collection pants okay so here i'm going to filter turn on this box okay and they select this so now if i i try to select this i can't anymore okay this is really important so now i'm going to create my collection for now we need only three collection okay the floor the wall and the ceiling uh, but before I start the modeling part i'm going to preferences and here search for extra object okay make sure these two are turned on again so i'm gonna activate the snap option and put it on vertex so here if i select shift a single vert add a single vert guys okay so i'm going to bring it here and in the corner and I'm, I'm going to extrude it around the around the plan okay so now I'm going to fill it and extrude it by let's say 20 centimeters okay so here again I'm going to deselect this and um, 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 now we can start modeling the walls. Just again, single vert, add a single vert, okay? Select all, fill, and extrude it by three meters. Yeah. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other words. And now I can even snap it to the first volume model, okay? Yeah.
air doper part of the wall i'm going to extrude it by 60 yeah 60 centimeters and i'm going to duplicate it here I'm going to do the same thing for the upper part of the wall above the windows again 60 centimeters and I'm going to duplicate it here since they have the same size yeah so now I think it's okay for the walls we are going to do the ceiling now okay but for the ceiling we can just duplicate the the floor and align align it with the walls okay so do it like that yeah and i'm going to hide it here to add a little bit of details i'm going to do a simple a simple beam to make this the space feel more functional okay so yeah now we finish model the walls and the floor and the ceiling i'm going to add some windows yeah so we will create a new collection and call this furniture okay i'm gonna create a new collection on the this furniture and call it low cabinet so the process remains the same okay with the snap tool turned on i'm gonna add a single vert move it here okay so i'm gonna extrude it along here select all fill and extrude it by 30 centimeter okay yeah so I'm gonna go to edit mode, divide it by four. Then I'm gonna select these faces, okay? I'm gonna insert them individually by 0, 0.0, by one centimeter, yeah? Okay, I'm gonna select the lower edge of these faces and move them way down to the bottom. I'm gonna select these faces again. I'm gonna insert them by uh, 0 0.5 centimeter. Yeah. So I'm gonna separate these faces, okay? Yeah. So now I can select the. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna select these faces, okay? And I'm gonna move them back way along to the wall. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So for the bookshelf, again, I'm gonna create a new collection and call it book yeah okay you can call it whatever you want but bookshelf is fine and i'm gonna create a single vert again move it here and i'm gonna extrude it but before extruding the single vert always make sure you are on vertex mode okay if I am in face mode, I can see the vertex, okay? So the vertex extrusion work only in vertex mode, okay? So yeah, 
on this like this vertex okay fill it and extrude it by let's say 30 centimeters again i'm gonna duplicate it along the z-axis and here i'm gonna put the thickness uh, something around two centimeters yeah move it back here and then move it along the z axis by 0 0.5 yeah 50 centimeter and this time i'm gonna use the array modifier okay yeah something like that yeah and after that i'm gonna duplicate it again and delete the iron modifier on this one duplicate it here go back to edit mode and extra move this face down by 50 centimeter yeah you can go back to camera view now i'm gonna deselect the windows and the doors okay then i'm gonna select all the items inside this viewport okay right click and set origin to geometry okay yeah and then i'm gonna turn on back these ones let's put the sunlight here by going to uh word properties and put the sky texture here okay and go to render view okay so now we have a lot of parameters to play with i'm gonna put the altitude with something like 2000 okay and the ozone uh, something like six to have a blue sky six is a little bit too much maybe something like four yeah so now i'm gonna play with the elevation uh elevation something around 20 to 30 degrees is more than fine okay and we will play with the rotation because you have the sunlight coming from the windows on the left okay uh, something like that and again play with the elevation yeah this is fine i think yeah this is all for the modeling part okay the next part of this video will be adding some materials on this scene okay so again you will put all the assets used here the autocad pen as long as the dots in the description see you in the next video bye bye